there's uh, only one class of common stock for Tesla. Uh, I personally I own like 20 or 25 percent of it, so there's an easy remedy if the shareholders don't like me. <laughs> they can eat, they can just fire me. <laughs> I would encourage them to fire me if they think I'm doing a bad job. EV automakers are stepping back in 2024, leaving Tesla to dominate the electric vehicle scene. So does it mean a high demand for Tesla's EV cars and an increase in its stock price? What if I told you that investing in Tesla stock in 2024 could make you rich by 2030? In this video, we're diving deep into the automotive industry's evolving landscape and its potential impact on Tesla's future market value. By the end of the video, you will understand where Tesla is heading in the long run. And if you're considering investing in Tesla stocks, this video is just what you need to make up your mind about what to expect by 2030. Don't miss out on our future insights. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Now, let's roll out the details and see what the road ahead looks like for Tesla's stock. 1. Tesla stock performance over the past 5 years this is Tesla's stock price chart over the past five years. Over the past five years, Tesla stock, TSLA, has seen an astronomical rise of 895%, a journey marked by milestones, market influence, and intense speculation. Let's break down this electrifying ride. Starting in January 2020, Tesla's market valuation was almost $117 billion, Going through a year of unexpected growth, and by the end of 2020, that number had surged to $658.39 billion. The momentum didn't stop there. Tesla hit the $1 trillion market cap by October 2021, an achievement that speaks volumes about its market dominance and investor confidence. Behind Tesla's impressive climb is what the Financial Times has dubbed the Tesla Financial Complex. This network, with investment products like options, equity-linked funds, and climate tech-focused vehicles, plays a crucial role in both the equity and derivatives market. The growth of Tesla stock creates a virtuous cycle. As the company gains market prominence, these financial products yield high returns, attracting more investment and strengthening Tesla's market position. Now, Tesla's influence is also evident in the exchange-traded funds market. In July 2018, Tesla was holding in 106 ETFs. By December 2021, that number more than doubled to 244 ETFs. The integration of Tesla into the S&P 500 in December 2020 also expanded its exposure, as funds tracking the index benefited from its price surge. Initially, Tesla weighed in at 1.6% of the S&P 500. By November 2021, it rose to 2.5% significantly contributing to the index's performance. Despite its success, Tesla's journey hasn't been smooth at all. The stock market is known for its volatility and is obviously influenced by factors like CEO Elon Musk's public statements and market speculation. Short sellers have historically targeted Tesla, arguing against the viability of electric vehicles. However, the narrative around Tesla and electric cars shifted dramatically during the pandemic. That's because of the increasing environmental concerns, governmental support for green initiatives, and Tesla's record-breaking delivery numbers. Although Tesla's production figures still trail behind those of traditional automakers, the company's market performance has been nothing short of spectacular. Tesla stock reached an all-time high ATH of $409.97 in November 2021, a peak it's still trying to surpass. This journey reflects a shift in how people view the risks in the market, especially around sustainable and green technologies. 2. 2024, a year of slow growth for Tesla. A few years ago, my son, who was an electrical engineer, was interning at Tesla. Dad, why don't you own some Tesla? I worked there as an intern and I said, I want to short that stock. It's such a joke. It's a car company trading at a ridiculous price. He said, no, you're the joke. You don't understand what Tesla does. I work there. It's not a car company. It's a data company. Every mile a Tesla drives, it goes into the database of mapping for autonomous cars. And I thought, shit, I didn't know that. He said, no kidding. You have a ton of money. Why don't you buy some of this stock? So just before I went on the air, I took my phone out and I bought a whack of the stock in my personal account. Then I forgot about it. 
<laughs> one day I opened up the thing and I was up like a thousand percent. 2024 seems to be the year where Tesla's growth hits the brakes. And there's a bunch of reasons why this electric vehicle giant is expected to slow down. First off, Tesla itself has said that its growth will be notably lower compared to the 38% rise in deliveries we saw in 2023. When they dropped this news, their shares took a nearly 6% nosedive in New York's after-hours trading. Elon Musk, the brain behind Tesla, has thrown out a warning too. He believes that Chinese car makers are on track to demolish most of their global competition unless some serious trade barriers are set up. Now that's a bold statement. Throughout last year, Tesla was cutting prices left and right in an effort to keep buyers interested. This strategy did push their sales to a record 1.8 million cars in 2023, which is almost a 40% jump from 2022. But here's a twist to the story. Their revenue only grew half as fast and really started to drag towards year end. Looking ahead, Tesla doesn't see a major growth push happening until they roll out a new model. They've been chatting about a compact car that's going to be more wallet-friendly than their current Model Y, which has a starting price tag of around 45,000 pounds in the UK. But we do expect to make cars that are um, more affordable than the current the Model 3 or Model Y. So, and, um, a big factor in this is, yeah. Musk's call for trade barriers isn't out of the blue. China's BYD has recently went past Tesla, becoming the world's top-selling electric car maker in the final quarter of 2023. And with the EV market showing signs of fatigue after years of solid growth, Tesla's cautionary tale on sales slowdown is echoing a broader industry trend. In the UK, even though electric vehicle sales climbed last year, they didn't really dent the market share of traditional cars. Over in China, the biggest playground for EVs, car makers are slashing prices as the economy cools off. Europe isn't faring much better, with battery electric car sales taking a nearly 17% dive compared with December 2022, as reported by the European Automobile Manufacturers Association. Tesla's financials in the last quarter of 2023 mirrored this slowdown. They reported a revenue of $25.1 billion, a mere 3% increase from the same period in 2022, and their profits didn't meet many analysts' expectations. To add to the mix, Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory shipped around 60,365 vehicles in February, down by 16% from January, and a 19% drop from the previous year, marking their lowest sales figure since December 2022. The Lunar New Year holiday period in China might have contributed to this dip, but it's a red flag considering China's importance in Tesla's global market strategy. Plus, with Tesla facing stiff competition from Chinese electric vehicle maker BYD, there are some real challenges on the horizon for Musk's empire. Okay, Tesla is facing some serious challenges, but what about the future of its stock? Should you consider buying it? I invested in Tesla when Tesla was at $2 billion, and I put all the money I had straight out of college, I put it into Tesla <laughs> at $2 billion, and I rode it up till it was at $7 billion or something like that, and I, I cashed out at a 3x. And I remember at the time thinking, okay, General Motors, they were at 20-something billion, and I was like, one day Tesla could be, you know, half as big or maybe even as big as those companies. It just seemed like that was the roof. And then Tesla went up and became, at one point, a trillion-dollar company. My $2 billion could have been a, become a trillion, basically. How much did you put in? 25000 Yeah, I had like twenty five grand in it. Three, should you invest in Tesla stock? Here is a growth estimate chart for Tesla stock's earnings per share. As you can see, Tesla stock's earnings per share has grown by 70.32% over the past five years for the reasons that we have already discussed. However, the growth of earnings per share is going to slow down as Tesla continues to struggle in the market due to a low demand for EVs and higher competition. Now, experts are constantly revisiting their estimates for earnings per share as the market evolves. Here, you can see how the estimates have changed over the past months. Wall Street analysts believe that earnings per share are going to stay around $4 per share in 2025. Also, we're going to need Tesla's stock per share price to come up with an estimate for its growth by 2030. So, currently Tesla's stock per share price stands at $177.70. 
Another thing we're going to need is Tesla's forward price-to-earnings ratio, which as of now stands at 58.13. So let's see what we have at the table. The current Tesla stock per share is $177.70. The earnings per share stands at $4.06 per estimates, and Tesla's forward price-to-earnings ratio is 58.13. Also, the growth estimate for earnings per share for the next five years, which is 11.13. After doing some maths, the estimates are that Tesla's stock price per share is going to reach $399.93, which will be a solid increase from its current stock price, but still below its ATH, which will be a bit disappointing for investors. Still, investing in Tesla in the long term sounds like a good financial decision. You are, with Tesla, two and a half times bigger than BMW, VW, and Daimler. I even have said you the stock ever is too high. I mean, what am I supposed to do? You know, like, have I you ever considered said, to buy... The stock is too high a long time, like when it was like at $800 pre, pre-split. And they don't listen, don't listen to me, but, you know, I tell you. <laughs> and the SEC complained again. I mean, like, you know... <laughs> And let's just not forget that sentiments can change overnight and maybe Tesla rebound to its glory in the coming years. Who knows, right? So now you have an idea of where Tesla's stock is heading, and you can start making up your own mind for your next big investment. And let's be honest, it's not all about investments, but making some sacrifices on your way to the top. Watch our next video on six sacrifices you need to become rich. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. We will be back with another one very soon.